let's see who's on this thing. I'll be right back. heavy object and a towel only because some people were saying wasn't that hard on certain workouts so we're trying to add some weight so I'm gonna use this sand bell right here um, and this towel hey Karen uh, Karen I'm working on your program today hopefully I'll get it to you tonight I apologize for not getting it to you sooner. I was shooting for like eight hours yesterday, um, stuff and editing and uploading and all that. Uh, so I will, I was planning on trying to get yours tonight, but I'll get it to uh, before tonight, sorry. Uh, hi, towels and liquid detergent. Sure, that works. It's like a 10 gallon bucket of liquid detergent. No, it's fine. Uh, at least that way it just makes it slightly harder for you if you need it, right? That's all we're really looking for. All right guys, so, um, Make sure you guys are foam rolling. Do you guys have foam rollers at home? If not, let me know. We have foam rollers in the gym. Uh, a few members got foam rollers for the for the house um, today. So yeah, if you need anything, let me know. Uh, Karen, I also have to send you that email. I know I still have to send you an equipment email with the links. Um, so uh, let's go ahead and get started then. Uh, let's do breathing first so lay flat on your back grab the back of your legs bring them up here and just breathe into your belly for roughly a minute in through your nose feel the belly press into the tops of your thighs feel the sides of your bellies expand and press into the floor blow out with pressed lips you should be able to hear your exhale once you fully exhale you should feel your abs turn on you're gonna hold your breath for like two seconds in that position and then take a nice deep breath in, breathing into the tops of your thighs. Okay, uh, so keep doing that. Okay. Um, just at about a minute. So let's move over to our Sphinx position. So you're gonna go ahead and lay on your belly. How's it going, Nate? Did you try the app yet, Nate? I didn't see that you did one of the workouts yet. So let's go into that Sphinx position, pushing that floor away, head nods, relax the lower body. Eyes up, head up. And then in 30 seconds or so, we'll go into the head rotations. Make sure we're not holding our breath. <clears throat> Still breathing into the belly. <clears throat> uh, all right, and let's go and look into our back pockets or underneath our feet. Pressing that floor away from us the whole time to help you get a little bit more range of motion in your spine. And just warm up that thoracic spine, warm up the neck. Exercise the vestibular system. Okay. And then we're gonna go ahead into rolling. <clears throat> so we're gonna go ahead, uh, let's go into half rolls. So we're just gonna lay flat on our belly. We're gonna go on arm lead. So just drive your elbow, look behind you, drive your elbow behind you. Let your lower body relax. So just before you flip over, and then come back, we'll go the other way. Drive that elbow and shoulder behind you. Look where you're going, okay? So look and drive that shoulder backwards. Look over your shoulder and drive your shoulder where you're looking. Relax that lower body. 
Okay. Still try to breathe into your belly. Oh, I'm on a frame on Instagram. Okay, let's go into that rocking. So let's just go forward and back, push that floor away. You can go ahead, flatten your toes. I'm gonna flatten my toes today. So I think I've been doing a lot on my toes lately. Who uh, else joined? Oh, I don't know the other two people that joined, but hello. In case you all wanna say hi. I don't know if I know you, maybe I do know you. I can't recognize you off your Instagram names though. Hopefully you're joining us for the workout. Rocking forward and back. Press that floor away from you. Ugh. Key one, I don't know who you are. Do I know you? Type in who you are. I know you just requested to be live in my video, um, but I don't know who you are. So if you can tell me who you are, maybe I'll let you or accept it or something. I don't know. I don't even know what happens if I let you in. Um, hey, Auntie. Uh, rocking, rolling, crawling. So just forward and back crawling. You can go into, a, they call it an access crawl. Just moving opposite arm and leg, literally crawling in a circle. Okay? If you don't have the space, you're going to go forward and back. What? Instagram live is interesting. I have these like face icons on the bottom of my screen and there's a red notification. I don't know what that means. Oh, you're a Melissa's friend. Hi, how's it going? I actually don't know what happens if I let you in on the thing and also these are recorded. So I don't know if you want it to be recorded because they're gonna go on YouTube. So I don't know if that will show up. I know your comments don't. But what happens if I accept the request to be in my life? Does that mean everybody else can see you and I can see you? And how many people can do that, by the way? Do you know? Is it just one person at a time? Um, okay, so from there, crawling. Uh, we're gonna go into marching, cross crawls, tap the opposite uh, limb, arm and leg. No idea either. Did you accidentally ask to be in the video then? Or did you know what you were doing with that? Because I have seen people do it in, in uh, like my friends' other lives. Keep going, keep doing the cross curl march anytime my pants tighter. But um, I've never done it because I actually just started doing live like a week ago. No, two weeks, how long ago? I don't know, like a week and a half ago. I'm pretty new to this. All right guys, so that is gonna be your warm up. And then we'll go over the exercises real quick right now. So hopefully you guys have, hey Jensen. Oh, hey Jensen, um, do me a favor. Uh, can you send me your email address, like text it to me? Diana, same thing for you. Uh, Karen, I should have yours. Uh, Corey, same thing, text me yours. No idea either, it was just on your, it was just on your screen you decided to hit it. <laughs> That's. Awesome, awesome and adventurous of you. Okay, so remember that ideally, uh, I gotta run off camera real quick. Ideally you have a heavy object. I'm gonna use, uh, I don't want to use, but I'm probably gonna use this 40 pound sandbag. You can use a bag of rice. Um, hey Heidi, you can use a bag of rice. You can use, uh, Diana has laundry detergent. You can hold a box of laundry detergent. You can hold, um, what else have we done? A uh, five gallon jug of water. Uh, and then make sure you have a chair or a stool around. Um, not all of you will need it, but we are gonna do glute bridges. So if you don't have anything, uh, I mean, if you need to make it harder, we're gonna elevate our feet to make it harder, okay? So I want you to have that. Um, and then we can demonstrate. So while I demonstrate, if you guys need to go and grab equipment, or uh, not equipment, uh, household items, whatever you have around the house, you can go ahead and do that. So the exercise number one, uh, we're gonna do what's called metabolic resistance training. So it is gonna be timed 
Uh, the goal is to not necessarily move fast, but to get in about eight, six to eight repetitions in that 20 seconds. Um, so with a decent load of a 10 or 12 rep max, which means you can only do 12 to 10 of those exercises with perfect form with that weight. Uh, we are using probably only one implement for the most part, so it's, it's a little challenging, uh, but let me go over everything. So bird dog with towel pull. If you have an object like this, can y'all see that on the screen? If you have an object like this that you can pull, then you can go ahead and use this. If not, that is why I asked you to bring a hand towel. If you don't have one, you can go and grab one, but you're just gonna hold it down with one hand, bunch up the other side and grab with your palm facing in. We're gonna come down. I'm gonna move this a little bit so you guys can see better on the ground. We go. So uh, you're gonna be here, hold that down with his hand, grab this palm facing in, and you're gonna go ahead and pull out like you're trying to rip that towel out from underneath. I'll show you from the side. You're gonna go ahead and be in this quadruped position, hands directly underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. I'm gonna hold down that towel with my right hand. I'm gonna pull towards the camera, creating that tension. If that is easy for you, you can go ahead, reach that heel back and hold. We're just gonna hold that tension for the 20 seconds. If that is easy, I don't know that even I can do this. You can go ahead into that bear position and pull and hold and try not to tilt your hips. And I don't think any of you guys will need to do this, but if you do, because I don't know if I can demo it, you can go into that bear position, pull and drive that leg back. And that can be your 20 second hold as well. So if you need to make that first exercise harder, there are various ways to do it. Uh, so we're gonna go 20 seconds on one side, and then the next round we'll go 20 seconds pulling the other way. From there we'll go into a split squat under constant tension. So if you want to, this is where you can use that weight. We're gonna hold it on our chest. I don't know if I will actually use it or not, but we did have some people who wanted to use equipment or weights so we can hold here. I'll turn sideways. So we're gonna go into that split squat position. All right. So. Make sure your front knee is directly underneath your front heel, your back knee is directly underneath your back hip. You're gonna drop down into that split squat. Your front chin should stay vertical, so I need to move my forward. You're gonna come up, not all the way up, because I want your front quad to feel tension the entire time. So I'm not gonna do full range of motion up, but I will go all the way down, all the way up, and your quad's gonna burn out really quick that way, all right? And then the next round, we'll do the other side, and then, uh, then we're going to a yoga push-up. Show you what that is. So what it is is a negative push-up. So hands directly underneath the shoulders, grab the ground, lower yourself to the floor. Before you touch the floor, or if you have to touch the floor, that's fine. I want you to push yourself back into that down dog position, all right? So then you're gonna flatten yourself out, come down, push back. So your feet can be wide on this, and you're gonna circle back to that plank, drop down to that negative, push back, all right? Uh, if you need to make that a little bit easier, go ahead and just do knees, negative push up, and then if you can, toes to that down dog, and then back, drop your knees, and then come down. That is fine as well. Um, if you can't do the push back, then you can just do negative push ups either from your feet or from your knees. All right, just lower yourself to the ground and get up safely. Uh, and then the last and final exercise feet elevated glute bridge. So, for most of you guys, a glute bridge, feet on the ground, grab the ground, press the floor away from you. So two up, I use two legs to come up. Let me move a little bit more in frame for Instagram. There we go. Two up, one leg coming down. Two up, switch legs, coming down, okay? That's gonna be easy for a lot of you guys. So if you want to with no weight, go ahead, put yourself on an elevated thing. Make sure that it can't slide out from under you. So if you have to put it against a wall or brace your couch or chair, hopefully you can't push your couch, uh, you can do that. So we're gonna go ahead, drive those heels in, push that block down into the floor, lift, slowly lower down. That is two up, one down. Two up, switch legs, one down, all right? So we're probably gonna do like three or four on each side. Um, feet elevated. If that foot elevated is so easy, then you can go ahead and take your heavy implement and put it right on your hip crease if you need to increase that, uh, that difficulty, all right? And if not, then what I would recommend is in that 20 seconds, you literally do one rep on each side. So you're gonna bridge up two, take 10 seconds to come down. So you're literally probably gonna come down about this slow as my finger's pointing. 
that's low. Count to 10, touch it up, butt on the ground, bridge up, do the other side, 10. And so literally one rep on each side, taking 10 seconds to come down on a nice even pace to the bottom of your glute bridge. Any questions there? So that is six stations. We're gonna go four times around, 20 seconds on, 40 seconds of rest. Get your rest and water as you need to. Does everybody have their foot elevated apparatus and a towel and if they need a, uh, a heavy object? All right, um, probably from now on, we're gonna go ahead and have you guys put on your own tunes uh, at home just so that hopefully we can get this more views or whatever on like when we put it up on YouTube because we, we got flagged a couple times for uh, music rights. Eh, no big deal. It's still up there. Um, it's just not ideal. So any, any questions before we get started? Have my timer set up here. We are starting with those bird dogs. So go ahead and grab your hand towels. Are we all good? I see zero questions on Facebook. I see zero questions on Instagram. All right, let's get started then. All right, so I got a 10 second timer, calming me down, get to that bird dog. Okay, palm faces in, hands under the shoulders, pull, I'm gonna reach my heel back, I'm gonna hold 20 seconds, really rip that towel as hard as you can, squeeze that towel hard, pull it, rip it out from underneath, your other hand with your other hand, press that towel into the floor as hard as you can. Try to get it to go six inches down into the ground and relax. All right, and then we're gonna go to the other side. Okay, right. anybody have any questions on that? Your shoulder should not be up by your ear. Keep it down away from your ear. Push that floor away from you, right? Really drive into the ground. So I'm gonna go ahead and pin this side down. Got about 20 seconds right now. Bunch up the other side so I can use some grip. Pull this towel out from underneath my hand. Really press that floor away from you with the hand that's staying on the ground too, yeah? Dig your toes in, make sure your back stays nice and flat. Here we go, in five seconds. All right, rip that towel first, pull that towel hard, and then if you can, go ahead and drive that leg straight backwards. I don't know what happened to my timer. My timer wanted to be mean. Oh, that's fun. All right, I have a timer problem. I guess we're changing the timer now. Keep going. And relax. All right, we're changing our timer. We're gonna go uh, 25 on, 35 off, only because my timer screwed up and only set up one thing. Uh, when I took all that time to create four rounds. So, uh, just slight adjustment, we're adding five seconds to the work period, probably no big deal. Uh, all right, so we're going into those split squats next in 15 seconds. Hopefully this timer has enough rounds for me. If not, uh, I'll let you know. So we're going four times around, guys, keep that in mind. If you guys ever do this again in the future, go five rounds when you start to get better. Oh, so we're gonna go here, split squat, down, part way up. Right, I should have a weight in my chest if this is too easy. If not, body weight's fine. But remember, constant tension on this leg so we don't ever come all the way up. And just keep pulsating nice and slow. I'm actually moving too fast. There we go. Keep this knee in line with my second and third toe. That's really burning. Push up through that heel. Good. We're gonna switch sides. I'll face this way on the next one. So you guys can see a little bit better. Hey, Jenny. Uh, are we good on Facebook? Perfect. All right, so I'm gonna face this way on this next one. Okay, so I'm not gonna come all the way up to here, right? I'm gonna stay here so this thigh stays loaded. Man, I got a bad angle today on Facebook. I don't know what happened. All right. All right, so get into that split squat. Make sure that front knee stays over that front heel and go all the way down. Three quarters all the way up. 80% up, move nice and slow. Really work on engaging the ground with your feet. Stay under constant tension. You're probably gonna feel the burn in that back leg the most, to be honest, just because it's on a stretch. But really, it's that front leg doing all the work. Oh, geez. Oh, okay. 
Whew, that was burning. Is that burning for anybody else? Uh, I don't even know if I need that bag, but I have it here just in case. Anybody want to add weight? Munching on banana chips. Banana chips or plantain chips? I love those plantain chips from Trader Joe's. Those are good. Oh, comments on the Facebook. What's going on here? Is there an alternate version for your knees? For the split squats? Um, what are we doing? Yoga push-ups, guys. Uh, Sue, for that, just shorten your range of motion or do a normal split squat and just do what you can. There isn't, unfortunately, really, especially when you're working from home, you're just gonna have to shorten your range of motion. So when we're done with this, I'll show you. But you're just not gonna stay with constant tension because to be honest, some of your knee problem might be the fact that your muscles are already over tight, right? So instead of staying in that split squat down here the whole time and just pulsing between that, literally just do your normal split squats that we've done before and just go down as far as you can and then come up, right? And that's fine. We're just trying to do what we can. So make sure your knee doesn't do this. Pry that knee open. You're gonna come down and come back up, all right? So hopefully that works for you, Sue. If not, you can also, there. Hold yourself against the wall. Give yourself a little bit of support and go through anything that is a pain-free range of motion, all right? Two up, one down on those scoot bridge, guys. So, two up, one slow down. Two up, slow on the way down. So Sue, let me know if that works for you on those split squats. If not, we'll try to figure out something else. And that is one round. Sorry, not my best round. Hopefully your guys' best round though. So hopefully now you guys got the form down. You kind of know what we're looking for. Figure out if that was too easy. That's too easy, go find some weight real quick. All right, uh, we're on bird dogs next. So I'll show you what it looks like with the object. If you have a handle on it, right? I can go here, keep it down by my belly button, pull it across hard, push that floor away as if I want to drag it, but don't let it move. Pull hard, keep that tension, really drive that heel. My toes pulled up towards my shin. Hold, hold, really rip hard. Engage that lat. Hopefully if you're using a towel, you can just pull as hard as you want to, really. Oh yeah. That's exactly what you did. Awesome, that's good, yes. So just remember, if you have to modify, and I can't answer the question for you in time, you can just go ahead and modify to something similar, but always move in a pain-free range of motion, right? That is our goal, always pain-free range of motion. And then hopefully as time goes, we're slowly increasing that pain free range of motion, all right? But good job, Sue. Glad you already knew what to do. <laughs> all right, bird dog on the other side, guys. Pull and rip hard, drive that heel back, keep that nice and stable. Don't let that back arch like that. Pull hard, press that floor away from you. Flat and engaged. Oh, whoo. Eight more seconds. Keep pulling hard. Okay. I'll be honest, I like the towel better. I think I can pull a lot harder because I could drag this 40 pound if I wanted to. Uh, so I like the towel better because that's not gonna go anywhere. And that'll really turn my lat on. Uh, we are into the split squats. I'll be not intelligent and go ahead and load myself on this one. And I might never do it again, because that might be the not so brightest idea I've ever had all week. And this week just started though. Hoi, hoi, oh God. All right, split squat, pulse. Don't come all the way up, constant tension. Woo, that's not fun. You can feel your hamstring too, actually, on these, which isn't typical of what you would feel, even though it is working, during your normal split squat. Ah, oh, come on. Oh, jeez. 
<sighs> that one I definitely felt more here than on the back leg this time. <sighs> hey Heidi, where's Robin? Haven't seen her on any one of these live workouts in a while. She's too busy drinking. So remember we're switching to the other side. Make sure you're getting rest in water. If you have questions on how to make things harder, let me know. You got five seconds. Can we get this load up? Oh! Down. And then don't come up all the way until the end of this. Whoa, 25 seconds. Lost my balance there. Constant tension on that front leg. Really press that floor away. If you have carpet, try to leave a really big footprint into that carpet. Whew. I gotta rest for a second. Ugh. Oh God. Yoga push-ups are next. Oh. I think this right hip's really tight because I felt that stretch. Yoga push-ups. Anybody having trouble with the yoga push-ups? So it's feet wide, negative to the down dog. If you want to hang on in that down dog for a second, you can. Oh, I'm gonna move my feet forward a little bit so I can get a little bit more. Uh, down dog, thoracic extension. Uh, 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 All right, and then we're going to the foot, uh, foot elevated glute bridge. Um, two up, one down. Anybody having trouble with that? Anybody need it to be harder? Anybody feeling it in their lower back? Looks like y'all are doing good. We got six of you on Facebook. We got three of you on Instagram. Instagram's been dwindling lately. Facebook's been killing it with the views compared to when we first started. Bridge, one down. Try to leave off, uh, try to start where you left off. If you can't remember, no big deal. Make sure your knees don't collapse in. Make sure you're not feeling it in your lower back. If you are, regress to the ground or just go two up, two down. You don't have to go single leg on the way down. Whew. Who's that? Hey Heather, how's it going? How's California? What are we on next? Uh, going back to the top, so that's two rounds, guys. Uh, we got a whole nother two rounds. We are 10 seconds to go, and we have bird dogs. All right, I'm gonna go sideways. Well, I think I went sideways. I'll go this way, right? And then rip, pull hard. Keep those shoulders away from the ears. Really drive, feel that glute that's floating in the air. Lock that leg up, create that tension, rip that. Rip that towel out, press that floor away from you. You should feel the floating side hip. We're gonna switch sides. Gotta right, get some water real quick. So I gotta pin down this side. I pull this way. All right. How are we doing guys? Who are the five people on Facebook? Jensen, Sue, Heidi, uh, Diana, and Karen? Jensen, Sue, Heidi. Yeah, that's five. Are you five still here? Rip that, rip that towel out. Press that floor away. You should feel a stretch between your shoulder blades if you're pressing that floor away correctly. Oh, and relax. 
Split squats. Split squats by far the worst exercise in this set. But we needed a couple hard ones. Not that the bird dog's not hard. It can be. Absolutely. So split squats. Oh god. I don't know if I need the weight. I'm debating. Do I use the weight? It's my biggest conundrum for the day. I don't know if it is really my biggest conundrum, but ugh. all right, let's go. <sighs> Sue how's that knee? We're doing good with that knee. Make sure we pry that knee open, right? Keep it in line with that second and third toe. Maybe even a little wider for you if we need to. Nothing wrong with that. Just make sure we don't have that collapse in the knees. Pain for your range of motion. Whew. Oh, okay, I'm good. Ugh. And you? Well, I know why your knees bother you, Anthony. You do stupid things. Your form's not good on a lot. All right, other side. But yeah, track that knee, right? So, second. Third toe, knee in the line. Not here, not here, there. Got it? Boy! Here we go. Oh, God. Ten more seconds. Oh, whew. My back leg's getting the most stress out of this. I'm just holding. I can't. Oh. Oh good, no, no leaning knees, all right. We're just looking for pain free. So now we're going into those yoga push-ups, guys. Three seconds, yoga push-ups. Feet wide. Negative to down dog and back up. Negative to down dog. My down dog probably looks terrible. Ugh. Make sure you keep those shoulders away from your ears. Don't want any shoulder pain. Whew. Is everybody getting lazy in their quarantine? Is that what's going on? Nobody's getting stir crazy with all that balled up energy and then you just move around. Everybody's just getting sluggish. I've noticed even the uh, semi-private people who have their individualized programs on the apps, barely using them. Not like they're, I mean, not nearly as consistent as they were when they were at the gym. Sorry, but feet elevated to group bridge, guys. Two up, one down. Uh. So what do you guys need to be more consistent about being in a routine about your health and fitness? Uh. What do we need to do there? Uh, I believe that is three rounds. One more. Still have to go into work. Oh, that's good. Well, I mean, good and bad, obviously. I know you're a little more risky because you work in a hospital, Diana. But uh, at least you get to get out of the house, do stuff. Jenny's stir crazy, and she has a whole deck with a pool. But of course, she's complaining it's too cold. She can't go to the pool. She has a lot, she has a lot of space to move around outside if she wanted to. All right, guys. Oh, yeah, bird dog, sorry. Oh, pull. These times go by really fast. I forgot how short the rest is. Yank hard, yank hard, yank hard. Rip that towel apart. Press that floor away. Where's Sam tonight? <laughs> Should jump in in like 10 minutes right now, maybe when the workout's almost over. Okay, relax. And then where's Nicole? I don't, Corey, I don't know if you're still here with us on Instagram. 
Haven't seen Nicole in one of these workouts in a bit. I don't even know if she was in any of them. We're gonna switch sides, so I'll try to pay attention on cueing you guys up for the next exercise. Going to the next side. Hopefully you guys turned on your own music. And rip and drive that leg back. Keep that shoulder away from the ear on the grounded side. Really rip that towel apart. Pull hard, get those lats involved. Drive that heel back, pull your toes up. Rip hard, rip hard, rip hard. Minimize any movement. Imagine you're balancing a glass of water in your lower back. They removed all the benches in the pool area. I just take a beach towel, just lay on the floor. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I think they should do that just so nobody gathers around there, I guess, right? Uh, split squats. Last round of them split squats. Man, that timer goes fast. Five seconds. Constant tension split squats. I don't remember what these are called. Make sure that foot's grounded, right? So I'm on turf. My goal is to leave a footprint in this turf with my front foot. That is burning. Ugh. Ugh. Oh God. One more side and then we're done with these split squats. Thank you. Whew. Eight seconds. If you're using a weight, bring that weight up. Done, are you using those laundry detergent drugs? Oy. Other side. Whew. Man, really work on that form. You're not moving terribly fast. Really focus on alignment. Focus on that form. Try to keep that mind off the burn. You got five seconds. Ah! Oh! Alright, just make sure there's no comments. Donnie, using those uh, the laundry detergent? Is that useful? Is that enough weight? Yoga push ups, guys. Two more stations. Yoga push ups and glute bridges. Whew! It's so odd not having music in here, but I kind of got to suck it up because we want to repurpose this material. All right, yoga push-ups. One more station, guys. Ooh. Two jugs in a bag. Oh, you're putting it in a bag? You cannot just hold on to the jugs? That's good. I'm sure in this day and age, everybody's got the reusable grocery bags, right? So you gotta slow those up. Probably hold a good amount of weight. So good job. Glad you're using weight. Uh, Cheryl and a couple other people were asking me, like, can we do more weighted stuff? Huh. It's a little hard. Blue bridge, two up, one down. Whew. It's a little hard to do weighted stuff if I don't know what you guys have around your house. Apparently, people don't have 40 pound bags of rice anymore, including my family. I was like, oh, when did that change? I know not everybody has a five gallon jug of water. Uh, I don't know if everybody needs that much weight either anyway. Whew. All right, guys, that is it. Bring your heart rates down. 
So in the future, if you want to go for a fifth round, you can do that. Uh, you just set yourself up. We use the 25 on 35 off timer today because my original timer that I set up broke uh, part way through the setup. But um, yeah, any questions? How did it feel, guys? So fifth round, if you ever do this again, uh, to be fair, probably should have planned for a fifth round uh, today maybe, just so that the follow along is always like the longest variation people can just cut out part way through. But hey, live and learn. All right guys, no questions? Everybody did good? Everybody breathing hard? Uh, make sure we foam roll, right? So for a lot of you guys, because of the bridging and the lunges, this inner thigh part near your knee, a little bit down here, might be really tight. So really focus on rolling right here where my thumb is. Can y'all see that? Right in here, find tight sensitive area on both sides. I know mine are gonna be tight from those split squats because my knee always wants to cave in this way to assist a dysfunctional glute. So go ahead and really focus on that. Uh, obviously quads and hip flexors because we did lunge today. Uh, calves, depending. Your calves might be tight from pulling your toes up towards your shins. Uh, and digging your heels in, the bird dogs, the lunges. Some of you guys lunge, pressing with your toes. Uh, so really focus on your calves. And then traps, traps and pecs maybe, okay? So up here with a little cross ball, active mobility ball, massage gun, right in here, pec minor, close to the armpit crease uh, because of those yoga push-ups. If any of you did struggle like this to get back into that down dog position, those traps are gonna be tight. And a lot of us are already up here because of our accessory breathing through our chest. Um, so our traps are already tight, uh, mine included. So make sure we foam roll those areas, guys. Uh, and really make sure that we prevent any kind of long-term injury, any kind of chronic injury, things like that. Um, anything else? Thanks for making you sweat. Very welcome, Sue. I appreciate your comments and comment and, uh, and that you're following along. So thank you so much for your text the other day. I really do appreciate hearing that you guys are loving the workouts. Uh, and are using them even if you're not live with us, that's totally fine. Um, but again, if you do have friends that you think would benefit from this, or you just wanna get them in front of what we do and why we do it, please go ahead and share this with them, tag them in it, like it, put it to your Facebook feed, to your Instagram feed. This will be live on uh, Instagram stories for 24 hours. Facebook, it'll be there permanently. Eventually I'll get all these things over to, to YouTube, that's why I don't want to use music right now. Um, and then we can share those links too. So I do really do appreciate you guys sharing it. I know a bunch of you guys have been. Uh, you're very welcome. Oh, Corey, you're still here. All right, I didn't know where you were. All right, Karen, Corey, thank you. I don't know who the other one person was. Uh, but yeah, I appreciate you guys. Uh, it looks like there's no other questions. So see you guys later. Uh, let's just do this. I will promise already tomorrow I will work on a metabolic. So tomorrow, 6.15, I'll try to make a post tonight anyway, but I'm trying to get ahead and put a schedule out. Uh, I'm still not completely there yet. So tomorrow, 6.15, metabolic, be here. Please spread the word. It will not be the same metabolic, I don't think. I don't know if you guys will know. All right, auntie. All right, Melissa. Hey, Melissa, you're here. I didn't even know you were here. Uh, I really appreciate your donation um to the gofundme um thank you thank you so much for that i was gonna reach out to you but i have you here so i, I really do appreciate that thank you so much for that um all right guys that is it then uh if you do have any questions please go ahead and leave it in the comments uh and then i can reply to that if that's what it comes to uh other than that thank you for joining me it makes it so much more fun when people are here to interact with even though you guys are sweating and breathing hard but uh, i'll see you guys later uh tomorrow 6 15. Thank you. All right, Instagram. Ugh.